Islands in the Caribbean are a perfect holiday destination for travelers across the globe. When you're in the Caribbean Sea, the perfect places to holiday don't seem to end. Guadeloupe is one of those places. It's an archipelago of French islands which is perfect for travelers, with deserted beaches and jungles. Holidayers from around the world travel to the Caribbean islands to enjoy the tropical weather and the richness of beaches, jungles, and nature. The Guadeloupe Islands have it all and more. From infinite stretches of sand to lays on the mountainous, lush national parks replete with waterfalls and the La Soufriere volcano. So stay tuned to this video while we take you on a journey across these islands and what it's like to travel there. That being said, let's begin. Amidst the French islands of the Caribbean south of Antigua and Barbuda and the north of Dominica lies the Guadeloupe, consisting of six inhabited islands, Basse Terra, Grande Terra, Marie Galante, and Le Desirade, and the two inhabited Ales des Santes, as well as many uninhabited islands. The Grande Terre and Basse Terre are the islands that are joined together by just a couple of bridges and a mangrove swamp. These islands together look like a butterfly and are separated by a narrow sea channel called Riviere Sali. The Grande Terre, the eastern of the two islands, has a line of beach towns that offer visitors world-class stretches of sand to lays on plenty of other activities. Despite its name, Grande Terre is smaller than Basse Terre Island. It is the part where most of the white sand beaches and the airport of Pointe a Pitre are located. The south of Grande Terre is the most touristic and seaside area. With an area of 586.66 kilometers and 197,603 inhabitants living in 10 communes, the Grande Terre has a population density of 337 inhabitants per square kilometer. The most populated communes on the island are Las Abimes, Le Gossier, Pointe a Pitre, Le Molay, Sante Anne, and Morne et Al. Of the two islands, Grande Terre is home to a majority of Guadeloupe's farmlands and tourist resorts. The island itself is a limestone plateau with a coastline surrounded by coral reefs. Its landscape is a series of rolling hills, white sand beaches and cliffs, and it also includes a few coastal mangrove swamps and other smaller islands that are hilly and volcanic in origin. Grande Terre is a low-lying island without any rivers. Its soil and scrub forest vegetation are characteristics of the dry climate where sugarcane and other livestock are raised. The chief town of the island and the economic center of Guadeloupe is Pointe a Pitre, on the southwestern coast. Northern Grande Terre is one of Guadeloupe's most scenic regions, but its tourism industry is still in its infancy, with towering sea cliffs on one side and excellent beaches on the other. It's a lovely area to spend a day driving about and make it a great alternative for those looking to avoid the crowds. When compared, the eastern side of the island is barely untouched by tourism. It's large with Atlantic waves and instead of beaches, has crashing surf of much of its rocky coastline. It's popular with surfers, however, those who converge on the town of Le Muel. As soon as you get off the plane at Pointe a Pitre airport, it is recommended to head directly to the east of Grande Terre to Saint Francois. This is the part where all the magic happens and La Pointe des Châteaux is located where you can admire the sunrise that reflects its light on the wild beaches while the waves crash on the huge rocks that border the water. It's truly a surreal experience. There's also a micro-flight available that will fly you over the Grande Terre lagoons, which are even more beautiful to be seen from the sky. La Douche, a phenomenon at Saint Francois, makes the sea look like it's a shower with huge waves crashing at the rocks. Once you've enjoyed the views at Saint Francois, you can also rent a transparent kayak and spend the afternoon relaxing. From Saint Francois, you can book a snorkeling excursion at Petite Terre, where you'll see turtles, lemon sharks, leopard rays, and lots of other fish after about 1 hour 30 minutes of crossing on the catamaran. Petite Terre has a lot to offer, like snorkeling in the crystal clear waters, strolling to discover the fauna and flora, followed by an aperitif and barbecue on the beach. If you're into huge cliffs, there's the Pointe de la Grande Vigie, 
the northernmost point of Grande Terre with cliffs that scale up to 80 meters high. There's also Ans Castalia, which is another beautiful and little frequented place. You will reach the beach or creek in 10 minutes walking through the jungle. Lance Laborde is another beautiful beach where you can stop for Creole food at Le Coin des Bons Amis. You can also go for a water paddle excursion at Morne Ale Beach and enjoy the magnificent seascape. Saint Anne is another part of Grande Terre with the beautiful beach Bois Jolan, and many locals meet there with friends to organize appetizers and barbecues. The water is of a paradisical blue and is very easy to find a quiet corner hidden in the shade of a palm tree as long as the beach of Boisjolan. Just like Boisjolan, the Caravelle beach is accessible for free and is the perfect spot for sunsets. The Plague du Petit Havre is another wonderful place for swimming. There is also a surf spot for amateurs there. Le Gossier is another important city located in the south of Grande Terre with trendy restaurants and beautiful landscapes all around. You can swim to the islet of Gossier from the Plague de la Dacha, which is about 500 meters away. After spending days exploring the Grande Terre, we move to the Basse Terre, the western half of Guadalupe, and home to the city of Basse Terre, the second largest city in Guadalupe, behind Pointe a Pitre, and had 44,864 inhabitants living in 2012. The island of Basse Terre is full of sublime waterfalls, and there would be more than 300 of them some of which are inaccessible. Basse Terre has a maritime station that receives cruise ships and has a ferry service to the Iles de Santes. The commune is mostly urban with some farmland to the northeast and northwest. Basse Terre has very unstable weather and rains can be very unpredictable. So ensure that you're away from any water source if rain is predicted. The ground too in Basse Terre can become very slippery, so always be careful and watch your step along the way. Sainte Rose is a commune in the coast of Basse Terre and is the second largest commune of Guadeloupe. In terms of area after Petit Bourg, it's still not very frequented but is a real haven of peace. Canyon de la Riviere Mostique is a section of the commune of Petit Bourg and is an extraordinary place for swimming in the river. The site is of an exceptional beauty with the imposing rock walls surmounted by lush vegetation which only bathers can fully discover. Indeed, the river makes a bend in the middle of the canyon and you can swim to visit the canyon on its entire length. La Soufri is a volcano of Basse Terre which is still active. It peaks 1,467 meters of altitude. The Soufrie would be very clear only 30 days a year on average and a little weather advice given by seasonal locals. If you see Soufrie clear one day, it usually stays clear for two to three days. So as soon as you see the summit, Go for it the next day. For the sunrise, it's a great place and one of the most beautiful spots in Basse Terre for visitors. The hike up to the top of the volcano takes 1 hour and 45 minutes and therefore takes about 3 hours for a little over 6 kilometers both ways with a positive difference in altitude of 492 meters. The view from up there is nothing short of being exceptional. You depart from a place called Bain Juan. And when you're back down, you get to relax in the 30 degrees water of the Ban Juan, which will also have revitalizing properties for your tired muscles after the hike up and down. The Reserve Costeau is another must visit if you're diving and a snorkeling enthusiast. The seabed is known for its magnificence and you'll observe turtles, corals and different species of fish if you're there. Dive into the sea to see the statue of Captain Costeau, which is present underwater. There's no missing out on this. Besides these, Basse Terre also has many resorts to stay in and relax while you wait out the remaining days in Guadeloupe. Besides these, the lush route de la Traversie is the road not to be missed in Guadeloupe. This verdant mountainous road crosses the Guadeloupe National Park from Petit Bourg to Pointe Noire, and there are several cool stops to make on this one. All in all, Guadeloupe is a place to be if you're planning a trip to the Caribbeans. From beaches to waterfalls, mountains and volcanoes. Do let us know in the comments which is more appealing to you, the Grande Terre or the Basse Terre. And if you like the content in our video and would like to explore more holiday destinations with us, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel, The Travelist. And make sure to hit the bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we post a new video. See you in the next one.